Oh, that was a very long round, too. Uh, but now we're back. Against Gar, who I think is just on Bant, because uh, I recognize his name. But I don't know if his hand's good enough. I won the die roll on the play. So I can't really do anything turn one or two, but my late game is okay. Like Underworld Dreams, Underworld Connections is pretty good. I'm going to try to keep it and see what happens. Uh, it's a bit of a risk, but I think it's worth it. I keep doing that. So next turn, I'm probably just going to slam this Mangler. Actually, I'm going to slam the Connections. I think Connections is a little more important than Mangler. And next turn, I can Mangle. Like, I didn't want him to have a syncopate and syncopate my connections. This way he can detention sphere them if he wants to. Blah, detention sphere them. I guess I could have drawn a card first. And so him playing the key rune is pretty bad for me. I can't interact with it a whole lot. Like, I can kill it, but I probably will kill it, actually. better question is how do I want to do it? I think drawing a card is a little better. So I'm just going to attack, see what he does, if he like casts a spell or something, like if he uh, Azorius charms me. Then I will likely... See, I want to play around Syncopate. So I think just Frask is not a very good play here. Because he can Syncopate it after Azorius charming me. So I want to abrupt a case so we can't just slam uh, the worm next turn. What's it called? The giant worm. <laughs> also, otherwise I'd be saving this for like a detention sphere, which isn't the worst, but it's not that good either. And I'll cast this Slitherhead since I'm not pitching it to anything. So also lets me put it in my graveyard in case he wants to wipe the board with a verdict. I mean, that's not the best use of my time, but so there it doesn't really do anything on its own. I think casting Varaska now and killing his key rune, that stops the Azorius charm. And it stops him from playing uh, Angel Serenity next turn. He can still play the Worm, but I can't stop that. And he can't syncopate my Vraska now. It'll be F6. One, two, three. I should have drawn a card. Oh no, I already played land. Okay. I thought I didn't play land, so I should have uh, drawn a card and played one. I'm trying to fish for a land. The prize hasn't ha had a smiter yet. Six. What does he leave him with six mana for? This just gives me, like, this makes me overly hesitant without knowing why. I guess he's going to have Sphinx's Revelation end of turn. So that probably draws him into an Angel or a Wrath, so I want to keep my cards. I'll enchant an Underworld Dreams. I don't really see myself drawing two cards a turn, but I'm not going to play a creature this turn, so I'm just going to pass an end of turn salvage draw card. I wish Frask could kill lands. I think that's an acceptable ability on a 5 drop. Like, both green and black are, are have a history of killing lands. So I think Vraska should just, like, have Vindicate. 
is a minus three. F basic forest, wow. So this is like for sure an angel serenity. Ooh, okay. It's a little more troublesome, I guess. Let's see. I will cast my salvage. <laughs> Actually, Forest is more useful than Jirai at this point. So I'll grab one. <laughs> I'm kind of brick walled right now. I need to play this demon this turn. So we draw a card, play the demon, I think. Troll's pretty good, but not good enough right now. I don't have any creatures in my hand. I'm just going to plus this guy. I'm actually going to go ahead and play the troll now, since he can't kill it with a, just a single Supreme Verdict. He's the Detention Spirit or something. Or uh, Angel it. So also lets me put keep Frasca at three if he just attacks with everyone. I can block a worm and then triple block. So the only one damage goes through to Frasca. But I think yeah, that's stupid. You could just like cast the angel first. Yeah, wasn't thinking. So he gets the demon, the mangler, and the troll. Tex Fresco with the token, I guess. There's really no point in blocking. I guess this lets me draw a card. Since the creature doesn't matter. I'm surprised he didn't attack Fresco with the, the Armada Worm since he has angels in his deck. It seems better to me to uh, attack with an angel, or attack with the Armada Worm so you get the Armada Worm in the graveyard. I'm gonna die. None of these cards help me. I need to draw like a Vraska or a Demon. And it needs to not have another Angel. Actually, I think I need to, let's see, this blocks two damage. I can sliver, slitherhead my Deathrite Shaman to block his worm to save an extra damage. Detention Sphere kills me. Key rune into activate key rune. Oh, so he can sacrifice it. Okay. I don't think that kills me. That's why I put the counter on it, right? So I only take 5 plus 2. It's only 7. I guess then he, uh, the detention spheres my guy or something. No? Azori's Charm? I mean, I'm just gonna cast a rod. It plays around detention, or uh, Azori's Charm. And Sphinx's Revelation. Cancel? Okay, now I attack. No, I can't attack. So I can sacrifice these, cast your rod, and then not be able to sacrifice anything. Hmm. I forgot I could tap my demon. So I could kill myself. I'm trying to figure out how I could win. I don't think I can. The mingler only hits them for three. 
That's not enough damage. It, it won't even block his damage. Let's see. So I have four and then two. Hey, I'm just dead. Let's see if he misses his uh, sacrifice creature trigger. Nope. Okay. We will put in some charms. Uh, these actually... I didn't actually see any... Uh, of that thing I don't like. So their heads are awful against this matchup. Uh, ultimate price, probably only one of them. It gives me four ways to kill these four guys. These, yeah, I think Golgari Charm. You just like have to play Golgari Charm. It's lets you regenerate all your creatures in the face of Supreme Verdict. It does not do anything against Angel Serenity, but like nothing does anything against Angel Serenity. You just have to like suck it up. Uh, yep, I think pack rats look pretty bad in this matchup. Ultimate price is just worse than aerial predation, I think, since all his other creatures are multicolored. This hand's fine. Let's start beating down with my, uh, what's this, a Norwood Ranger? Yeah, one, two for one. Uh, I don't feel like running my only creature into Syncopate. But I think I have to. Like, I don't think I can just beat down with a 1 2 and have that be good enough. I think I need the 3 extra damage. If he... Okay, charms this. So now he can cancel my guy. That's probably what he's gonna do. Let's find out. Yep. I guess I'll just start hitting him for two with the shaman. Oh, this deck is so obnoxious. I hate it so much. It's actually the reason why block isn't that fun for me anymore. It's just like everywhere and it's super powerful. You can't really interact with it if you're not playing it. It's not that fun to play either. What is this card? Chase? Okay. I actually don't want him to have the key rune. I would rather have him Jace Selesnya Charm. Selesnya Charm gets rid of my big guy. Yeah. I think Kieran is just too good of a card against me. It lets him circumvent my demons and accelerates his mana. And I have still no pressure. He's another Jace in his hand, but I can't just not let that if, it, if I let him go Jace Impulse, cast another Jace Impulse, I'm so far behind. This way he at least has to cast four mana to get a, to get a card. <laughs> Excellent. That's a very good draw. <laughs> my my death rate shaman's quite a beater now. Ow. The beat downs. Oh, okay. Oh man, I get to refresh my Vraska. I'm gonna abrupt decay that. And then I guess plus it, since I have nothing else to do. I feel like this is gonna get charmed. Nope. Okay. 
using abrupt decay over the charm here because the charm can regenerate my shaman and my uh, assassin tokens. What is this? Sphinxes for three? Or... What is this card? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. Well, I get to kill it immediately. But he just decreased my Death Raid Shaman's power by so much. <laughs> And I draw Drake Mangler. Thank you. Mm, regenerate all my creatures when he verdicts me. Hope he doesn't have a cancel. That's all I have. Oh, yeah, he doesn't have green mana. Yeah, I'm not actually sure I like all these abrupt decays. I think maybe. Another ultimate price would be better. It doesn't kill Smiter though. Maybe Stab Wound. It's kind of awkward. Ultimate price doesn't get the Smiter or any of the key runes or the Siege Worm. It only gets the Angel, which is by far the most annoying card in the deck. So maybe Abrupt Decay gets the Smiter. That's stupid. I mean, obviously. If he even plays it, I haven't seen it yet. They usually do though. Um, uh, yeah, I think this is fine. Still. Drawing Vraska. That's how I win this game. Underworld Connections, I don't think is good enough if I just have it. Like, if he, if he cancels it, I'm dead. Uh, Sand's risky, but I think I have to keep. The mana's not very good in this deck anyway. Like, it's okay. It's an average Ravnica deck. But I think I needed the Vraska to, in order to be competitive. I don't actually have any creatures to power this guy up. <laughs> no, I was hoping he'd Detention Spirit. Because my next uh, mix few beat down steps are pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Probably should have decayed that. He can't cast anything on 5, though. Or can he? No, just another Kirin. Okay, I have to hope he runs out of things to do. <laughs> I can kill his angel, but I can't kill this stupid worm that he's about to play. Oh, he just has a Sphinx's Revelation. Oh, just a Sphinx's Revelation. Do I even cast this? I don't think I can afford to. If he has the angel... Actually, if he has angel, I can just kill it. I thought he would have angel and council back up, but that's not the case yet. If he cancels this... Yeah, I think he's gonna sphinx his revelation. If he blocks my uh, troll, I will just regenerate it. And he can kill all my creatures. 3, 6, 7, 8. Go to 1, go back up to 3 or 4. If I draw a land and he plays Angel next turn, he's dead. Because I can play the ultimate price and then recast a Drag Mangler and kill him. Or actually, put him at one. So it's pretty close to dead. <laughs> oh, he just lost his connection to the game. I guess I will pause it and unpause when he gets back. So, as expected, he took the full nine, or yeah, eight off of this attack and then is now playing Sphinx's Revelation. With luck, I'll draw a land next turn. Because that's all I really need. 
I really need a land. The forest was super good. It's uh, drawing forest the turn I needed to cast a lot less roll on time. Then just immediately drawing with Dragon Mangler. I'm pretty fortunate, but I kind of had to be in order to uh, make this work, I think. So he's keeping up in Azorius Charm. Luckily, I just like luck sacked another Dragon Mangler. <laughs> That's gotta be pretty annoying. Though, no. I guess he doesn't have anything. Neat! I won! So, Drag Mangler, very, very, very good card. Drawing well is probably more important now, since I don't think I could win that game if I didn't draw like the Nut Perfect every time. I mean, I still have all these Raskas in my hand, so if the game goes long, he needed to have a Worm. I think if he had. Let's pretend he has Worm there. So I have two Manglers and a Troll in play. And he slams down a worm. I actually have nothing to do. <laughs> my my lotless troll is very small. I don't have five lands, so it's not feasible to uh, scavenge, try to scavenge a lotless troll or anything like that. I can't. I can ultimate price the token, but he still has a five five. So at that point, I still have to like draw a land for Vraska, and it wasn't happening for another two turns since the good gate comes to play tapped. So it's an interesting matchup, but not not a very fun one. To be fair, they just have like too many overpowered cards, and you don't have any. <laughs> but two one, gotta go for the gold. See you in round three.